I just finished building the Walt Disney Tribute camera. This is what I like, and this is what I don't like about this set. I like the design of the vintage camera because it's quite accurate to the cameras that they used back in the 1930s. I like the size of the vintage camera which measures in at 37 centimeters tall and 21 centimeters wide. I like the spool of vinyl film that wraps around the camera because the curling film gives this set a very unique look. I like all the colored animation printed on the spool of films which include Mirabelle and Alma Magical from Encanto, Elsa from Frozen, Tiana from The Princess and the Frog, Mushu from Mulan, Simba, Pumbaa, and Timon from The Lion King, Belle and the Beast from Beauty and the Beast, Ariel from The Little Mermaid, Bernard and Bianca from The Rescuers, Mowgli and Baloo from The Jungle Book, Arthur from The Sword in the Stone, Maleficent as the Dragon from Sleeping Beauty, Alice in Wonderland, The Fairy Godmother from Cinderella, Bambi, Dumbo, Mickey Mouse from Fantasia, Pinocchio and Jiminy Cricket, Snow White, and Steamboat Willie. I don't like the fact that you can't rotate the camera since it's in a locked position. I like how they constructed the three-legged stand for the vintage camera, which is made out of Lego bricks and Technic pieces to give it a mechanical look. I like how they built in the number 100 into the reels of the camera to commemorate 100 years of Disney. And I like how you can easily remove the 1 from the 100 if you just want a regular movie camera. I like how you are given a crank on the side of the camera. And I like how it makes a clicking noise when you turn the crank. I like how we are given a viewfinder on the other side of the camera which you can rotate and adjust 360 degrees. I like how we are given a secret compartment on the side of the movie camera. Inside the secret compartment is an office for Walt Disney which includes an animation desk. I like how they designed the large matted box on the front of the camera because it looks quite realistic. And I like how we are given three different types of lenses for the vintage camera. And I like the feature where you can rotate the lenses to use whichever lens you want to use. I like the fact that we get five Disney characters in this set. I like the Walt Disney minifigure with his trademark black mustache. He has a black hair piece which is slicked back and is wearing a gray suit and black tie. His accessory is a marker and a sketch of Mickey Mouse. I like the Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse black and white minifigures. They both have plain black torsos but Mickey Mouse has a cool looking silver leg printing and Minnie Mouse has a nice light bluish gray spotted dress. I like how we get our first Dumbo baby elephant who has a cute yellow hat and red collar. I also like how we get our first Bambi character which has a nice looking face and printed spots on the side. I like the display stand that we are given for the five characters which looks like a clapboard used on film sets. I like how they try to recreate the Disney animation style with a movie camera on top and three layers of drawings underneath to give the scene a three dimensional Look. I like the fact that there are no stickers in this set. All the designs are printed on tiles and panels. I like the building experience of this set. There weren't any repetitive builds and it was quite enjoyable to recreate this vintage camera. So what do you like? What do you don't like? Comment below, let me know, and we will see you all in the next video.